So you should always go save as, I almost always save in a ZTL, Z tool format. So to do that, you have to do that from the tool palette on the right hand side. Um, so, and then you want to load a file, you can load a file by clicking on this. So yeah, if you want to load an OBJ, you can go to import and you can load a file. I don't know where I have any OBJs there. I've got a hand OBJ. So actually, yeah, this is a good example. So I loaded this OBJ, all right? It's basic hand mesh. I actually used this and modified it, I believe. Uh, where is it? I gotta find the thing. Um, yeah, I name my files like really stupid things, by the way, so. Uh, what's it? There we go. So I actually used that hand in this sculpted piece here. So that's what I turned it into, right? I still, have to f I still haven't gotten back to the figure yet, but this is based on one of my favorite artworks, um, which I saw in Paris uh, recently, which is great. So yeah, I basically positioned it, and I, I, I re like simplified and took out the nails that were in the model that looked kind of weird, and then I, uh, by the way, these are polygroups, so I mentioned in, uh, this in the other video. You can isolate polygroups so you can really quickly get in and work on a very specific piece of a mesh, which is important in things like fingers and toes. Anyways, back to the saving. So. You can import, like I said, import OBJs. Um, so you can import an OBJ, right? So I started with that and then posed it. Um, if you go to document, save as, it's literally just like saving a screenshot. It will not save any of your 3D information. It's literally just like saving the, the screen. Like I said, the viewport is like a Photoshop document. It's just a bunch of pixels that actually have 3D depth which is actually kind of the, the way uh, ZBrush has all that power. It's kind of a, a, an amazing cheat that, that kind of worked for the software. Because it's not sort of truly displaying 3D in a way, it's just using pixels with depth. They call it a pixel, P-I-X-O-L. A pixel with depth. And the company name is Pixelogic. So anyways, if you save a document, it's literally just gonna save like a screen grab of this and you won't have any 3D information. You can save under here, under File, Save As. I generally don't recommend it. The only difference between the Z project and the Z tool is that uh, the Z project can actually save all your undo history, which may or may not be useful, but it can create really, really massive files. And it really, the only additional information it saves is lighting information, uh, basically. So, uh, and I find I, you know, a lot of times if I'm just sending stuff out to, to Maya or maybe to Keyshot or something else, then you don't need that format. Um, it is a newer format that they added, but I highly recommend just simply, you know, for most of your modeling process, just stick with ZTL. And you can do some amazing lighting and rendering inside of ZBrush, but um, generally speaking, I mean, if you have access to Arnold, you're probably better off sending things to Maya and then rendering with Arnold.